Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how you can actually control any device with Philips Hue Dimmer thanks to new Alexa triggering method. And the good thing, you won't need an Echo Dot or something for that, all you need is just the app. In the app, just get into the triggering routine and then you will actually notice your Philips Hue Dimmer there to trigger that option there. So here now I just start the routine with the enter routine name section. So put a routine name, it doesn't really matter, you can trigger with the name itself anyway. For you, only thing that it matters is that the uh, triggering method you will use. So at this point, uh, I just name it as I want and then I will next connect to the uh, specific device that I want to control and then the triggering method I will choose this Philips Hue dimmer. So now I just click on the devices here. I can see all my devices even including the Hue dimmer switch one and the original I have two switch and then as you can see I can just choose the button and then here now I choose my triggering mechanism. Now I click on the devices and I can choose any device from this list to control via, via my uh, Philips Hue dimmer, which is awesome because now we are not limited to Philips Hue devices or Apple HomeKit devices only. You can use any like out of scope uh, devices as well. So here I will use my humidifier and uh, I just select whatever um, mode I wanna set it up for. Like I can use any of those that are exposed to Alexa, which is awesome because in Alexa you have more options to be honest. So you can use that as a triggering secondary app instead of only Google Home. And again, you don't need Echo Dots for it. That's the good part of that. So now I choose my setup options and it's ready. So now I will just need to test it. Uh, here I'm just double checking quickly if the routines um, you know can be triggered by clicking on it which happens for sure now let's give it a try click on hue button oh perfect so now the device can turn on very easily as you can see with this technique I'll have a detailed video for this one, but I have a coax vacuum cleaner that I wanna quickly link in Alexa, so I can actually do the same thing for my uh, one of my switch buttons. So now I link my uh, Irona cleaner here. So now that I link it to that, I can easily connect this one to my um, Hue dimmer with no issue. So now Alexa is looking for the devices to connect from that linking process so you can link any device the way it is like the third party linking in google home you can do the same thing for alexa which is very easy and you don't need alexa echo dot devices so for those triggers since they are um, automated at the back end they're just triggers so you can use them without need to have the app open or something like that so you have the trigger whenever that you dimmer is clicked you can control any or any of your third party devices All right, so it's found the cleaner. All we need to do is just now connect that into the routine system. So now I just put it in a room first. All right, so now I go back to menu, click plus and then go to routine. And then from routine, I just click plus again. Here, again, I put in a routine name. Let's call it out, Iron and Kitchen cleaner because I want to specifically clean the kitchen so now either you can go by directly you know the option that you can choose for Irona so here I click the button for the hue the button button and then for action either you can just do Irona turn on and off so that will clean the whole house or you can just choose an option uh, from the system uh, in terms of like telling Irona what to do. So you can use that um, custom setting from there. So what I will do now, I'll just go back. So instead I will use customized option here. Click customized. So here you can just tell whatever you want to Alexa. So I want to do clean kitchen and then that way now Alexa can trigger that routine to just clean the kitchen only. All right, so let's give it a try. 
Now I just click that button. As you can see, the vacuum cleaner turns on. And here is the app that to show you. Now only the kitchen section is selected as you see in this map view. So meaning that the vacuum cleaner will clean the kitchen only. So the good thing if I put this device into my kitchen, when I click this view button, it automatically just clean the kitchen area. So you can do the same thing for the other rooms. That way you have just button click away for cleaning specific area. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, get notifications and leave a comment if you have any video content ideas. Bye for now.